Alright. Figured I'd make a little video on my Boss Audio system I got going here. Let me cut it down so you can actually hear me. Oh, let's get into it. I have a 05 Nissan Sentra. You know, nothing really special, just a gas saver. But, uh, yeah. Just got this installed. Mm, maybe about two, three months ago. Uh, I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Hit this button right here. Boom. That's your music video. This is low life, actually. Uh, this whole thing right here will actually come off. You can put your SD card and you hit this button right here. I'm not going to do it right now, but you hit this right here and pop it off. And you got a little bitty SD card slot and I think another USB slot. I think I know there's another USB slot right here. And I ran another one right here. But it doesn't really work too well especially with the iPhone. So my friend got me, uh, um, he has one similar in his Crown Victoria, but it's a lot smaller so it'll fit. But um, yeah, he got me this, it's a little DVD thing, it's future. It's got 73 songs on it. You just plug it in like a regular CD or movie, you can play movies on this thing. Uh, you know, it'll still play when you do this. Of course, you should know that. And hit it again, pop out. It looks really, really good in the nighttime. Uh, you got a mode. Let's go back to the home. Hit the home. This is all your stuff right here. You can change the wallpaper. The time's not right, but I haven't just hadn't really had time to fool with that. Uh, you know, you get your calendar. You everything right here. You get your USB, your discs, your hands-free, which is your Bluetooth, your streaming, USB, SD. You can download pictures on here. Auxiliary, I've already got that hooked up. I don't really use it. Just use Bluetooth, to be honest. And your camera. The camera is for the, um, it comes with a backup camera for when you're backing up and stuff, but I never did install it because I just didn't really need it, have a use for it or whatever. So I didn't really bother that. Use your calendar, set all your settings, and da da da, what have you. So it comes with a little stencil thing that you use to, you know, you can tap on whatever you want to use. But actually, I lost mine, I believe. I don't know what I did with it. But uh, it works a whole lot better than using your fingers I mean but using your fingers is just fine but sometimes you kinda have to tap on it a little a little harder to get it to come on but uh... yeah but you know I just use my fingers like it's nothing it's, it's alright just hit it once hands free you can see my bluetooth is not connected and this is where it gets interesting you can go to your settings if you have subs like I do you're gonna wanna go to this right here this is your whole controls. Now, granted, how it says classic jazz, rock, pop, and optimal. This is, it doesn't specifically apply to that certain type of music that you'll listen to. I mean, you can go to any kind of music, really. But, uh, say for instance, this is the one I use. I basically got everything up because I have subs. So I really, 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 really want it to bang, but, you know, sometimes that gets old, and, you know, it starts hurting your head and stuff, you don't really feel like listening to it, so you can go to, like, a lower setting. You know, you can you can change all of it, move it up and down, your settings and all that, this is just what I have. Some of these, they got messed up, because I accidentally messed them up a little bit. I need to go back and change them, just really hadn't had the time. You go to this right here. This is your all your speakers that you have in your car. There's it's your left side and your right side of your car. You can move that little dot to the left and it only play the left side. Of course you move it to the right and only play the right side. Move it to the back and only play the back side. You know, in your bass boost, in your loudness, and what it means by loudness, it really, really gets loud in here. Um yeah, that's your little back button right right there. Uh, let's see, where's that? Where's that? Where's that? See the Bluetooth thing flashing at the top right-hand corner. 
Yeah, it's just showing me I'm not connected to Bluetooth. It'll really light up blue whenever it's connected. But, anyway, you, the USB didn't really work too well. I don't know why. I downloaded a few songs. It just didn't work too good. So, my friend got me this because he got one too for his Crown Vic one. And, yeah. I want to say his is the Boss Audio one too, but I'm not sure. But, yeah, this has got all his new songs and his old songs on here, you know. 72, yeah, 73 of them. He's got Low Life, all of them on here. Uh, looking to get a Kevin Gates one here soon. Uh, of course, you know this thing can play DVDs, you know, whatever you want to really play. Uh, say, for instance, hit the disc. Don't really have the, um, the bass boost on because you really don't need it sometimes. See, I mean, I yeah, I have two Rockford Fosgate P312s, and I must say they hit pretty good. Wouldn't mind having some Memphis, but don't really feel like playing that pretty price that they want for them, but you know, might get them later. I'm just as happy as with the ones I have right now. Show you them. It's night time, so you don't really be able to see them. Yeah. Can't really crank them up too loud, because you know, I'm kind of at the house and the carport. And it'll really, really, really get the house shaking. I've had stuff knock off in the house before. Uh, I got a bunch of shit in the way. Apologize for that. Yeah, here they are. They, uh, I had a, I have a Nissan Sentra 05. I think I've already said that, but I have a board under here because the other one that was on there collapsed. Because these, it's this is at least a hundred pounds right here, the box and all. These weigh thirty a piece. It's thirty or eighty pounds. I mean, I mean, a hundred or eighty pounds. But yeah. Had to do that. I need to scoot them back some more. Make them level. But it's all for all my stuff in the way. But yep. Yeah. That's them. Anyway. I'll probably do another video if I go to the lock and dam where I can really, really crank them up. But, uh, yeah. You can buy different ones of these. I think Walmart used to carry them. Not sure. Uh, we got them at a local store near us. But yeah, I've played movies on here like Ghostbusters, whatever you, whatever you really want to watch. You know, or your pastor wants to watch. Can't really watch it while you're driving unless you're just sitting here. But yeah. This is it, really. I don't know why I keep looking at the camera and trying to see. That's on one. I don't know if you can tell now, but it's already hitting pretty good. That's why I don't even really have the bass boost on. <coughs> but yeah, I mean, you can ride with it around like this, but it's kind of distracting me, and you will get pulled over from what I've heard. And so, you know, you really don't have time for that shit. So, yeah. This is it. Like I said, I'll have another one where you can really see how hard they hit. I mean, it's just a little something. It's a little bump, you know. Didn't really feel like spending a whole lot of money. And for the price that they are, they, they do pretty good. They kind of go above and beyond with it. So, uh, yeah, and these push all my door speakers. I have all Rockford Fosgate door speakers, too. And it pushes them to the max. This radio pushes them to the max. We had to kind of cut around here because we had to cut and trim this up because when we put it in, it wouldn't fit with these side pieces on. So we had to kind of like trim it up on the side. That's why you can see my interior lights under there. So, I mean, that's the only bad thing about it. Yeah. But, uh, you know, it doesn't really bother me none. But anyway, 
this is the uh, Boss Audio Radio that I have. And like I said, I'll do the real bass test later on sometime. Don't know when I'm going to get a chance, but it's coming. Anyway, peace out.